a little bit of Star Citizen is what's needed to do. I think first I might actually have a look on the hangar, I've got a couple of new ships. So let's go through them and have a look. I've got like, um, lots of things, I've not actually done any much to my hangar so there's no, um, no, none of the kind of posters and the aquarium and stuff up yet. Um, but we'll have a look. I think I'll spend another another stream actually kitting out my, my hangar. Um but for now I think let's just have a look at some of the ships. So I've got about four or five ships I can show you. Um you've probably already seen them before but you know, we'll have a look. I think my newest one is the is it MPUV. I I know it begins with an M, the rest of them are just whacked together, that could be completely wrong. I never know. Right, that's the one that's already out. Now this guy can I think appear in two different variants. You can have the personal um, personnel one, which is probably kind of like a, a carrier. Um, this is the sort of thing you're going to be using uh, to do some basic cargo maneuvering, maybe even taking a few things down on a bigger ship to the plat to a planet. Um, if you know somebody who's got a huge ship, um, I think is it the Orion, like I think the whole like a D and not, probably D and E or something like that. They're gonna be so big you can't land on a space station. You'll have to park up next to it and and um, people will have to hire out these sort of fellas to go and unload cargo. Um, you can't Take anything from the back. It seems to be you have to do it from in here. So just a little cargo carrier, both sides open, a little seat to sit in. Can you sit in the seat? Let's find out. You can sit in the seat. For those of you getting back to playing this after a while, the the one thing, the one control they seem to change every single time is the the exit. Uh, an entry of something. So F has always been open and close of stuff, but when you're in something you have to hold F now rather than pressing Alt F and things like that. Um oh there's no um oh there's no one side opens. That's a light. Good little ship. Cheap and cheerful. You know just a, literally not even a proper like cargo hauler, just like a it's a glorified um forklift truck really I think. Um but in space. Right, so good to you. Put the cutlass down. Let's look at the cutlass. Bang. Now the cutlass itself I'm not so interested as I used to be. I'm actually interested in more having a look at the Cutlass Red, which is their like medi be medi based sort of version of it. Um, let's have a look. Go in here. This usually is switched to close this, but sometimes the switch is very awkward to press. There you go. Cargo. You have a believe that's going to be a floor dock I think but you've also got this which I think happens to be all these buttons one of these does something there you go it's going to be the top to it uh, I think that's the top to it isn't it let's just say it is And that opens a big fucking hole in the floor. Well, 
I'll probably fall down. Damn it. You'd think they'd actually label the buttons a little bit. Like have one saying airlock, one saying turret, one saying door. There you go, two seater. I believe you're a pilot and a gunner, I think. Uh, it's actually, if I remember rightly, uh, this will move to the center here. Yeah. Look pretty cool looking little thing. Uh, actually, I didn't, I didn't mind the colour, so I think I, I'd prefer to get hold of um, the colourless red. Let's go at the bottom. Pop! There you go, there you go. Now I'm stuck. Get rid of that one. Alright, so let's have a look. Good to know errors. So we've had a look at the cargo and the cutlass. Now this is one of my favourite ships. Um, I traded this in just because I kind of ended up having two um, two combat ships. And I didn't want to be kind of restricted just to that. The other combat ship I bought, even though it's unflyable at the moment, I kind of fell in love with the way it looks. I mean, I have no idea if it's going to be actually be a good ship or not. I just kind of fell in love with it and thought, you know what, I'm keeping this. Um, to the Hornet. The kind of flagship, especially with the Squadron 42 stuff, this is going to be quite a popular one. It's the main fighter. But in the game, this is very, very, very easy to fly and very responsive, I feel. Um, I think I used to fly this more than anything else. I, I feel that they've actually made it a little bit easier for combat because I think before you used to die quite easily. Or maybe I've got you in a tiny little, tiny little bit better. Um, that way. Alright, so that's the one to twos. Let's have a look at something slightly bigger. What's that? Threes. We have this one. Um, I'm not too sure the story behind this, but these feel more alien esque. Even the, the kind of getting in and out of the ship is like got these cool little floating platforms and stuff. Pretty cool looking thing. Even the controls are all kind of weird and cool. But this is going to be pretty cool. Definitely be a really cool ship, I think. But then that's a fighter. Pretty cool looking. What all these dots are, you can always actually configure your ships with guns and stuff where you want them. Now, where is the... there it is. Now this ship here is the one that I kind of fell in love with. Um, it's not flyable. So, you know, it, 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 this is the gunship. Um, it should be flyable probably at the latest of Squadron 42 because this is a gunship supposed to be being used in Squadron 42 from what I last remember. They said a couple of times it is this it is this ship. Um, so let's have a look. Hello. It 
It appears to not want to open. Hey, ship, you open. Let's go and maybe respawn this back in again. Okay, it appears to be a bit upset. I think there's another down here. Two and three, four. What's this one? Three. Let's give this another try. Now, I think the cargo space in this pub is incredibly shocking. I believe that's the cargo area up there. Teeny tiny. Um, hmm. Um, this is definitely uh, able to get in this clubbing around the ship. We may have to come back to it guys. Fair do ship. Fair do you've won this time. You've won this time. Alright, so let's remove that. But it's cool, you're gonna have he's got like a a bay for um, troops to come in got umbilical so you can actually use the under turret it's got like a briefing area and a top turret you've also got like um you, you obviously have the cockpit and there's pretty much a lot of guns for that one it's pretty awesome little bit okay in my opinion now fours they're the big ones now we've got a few in here to have a look at um i'll go through the smaller ones smaller big ones first now this is a bomber, I believe. That's the bomber. Um, is that even closed? This is. So you've got this at the back, which I'm not too sure about. Um, You've got crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff here. It's possibly back to it. I suspect it's back to everybody. Yep, it's to it. After going for the ships, so I'm going to go and do a bit of questing. Probably my freelancer. Um, questing missions, you know. Uh, 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 we've got most of the bigger ships. We've got these. I know. I believe a lot of the sleeping areas are also classed as kind of life pods as well. But this is a, a bomber, I believe. The Vanguard are kind of heavy fighters. A nice bit of kit. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. There you go. It generally did the kind of graphics of your shield being hit. Or being put on. Which is unusual because most of these are quite, you know, like husks virtually. Um. Here are you. Put on the freelancer. Freelancers are a very, very good ver um, sort of versatile ship. Um, I get annoyed at this um, because there's a way to do it, but when you basically open that ladder to come down and the second door to go in, but I think there's a panel just inside that airlock to actually bring the ladders back up and close. It's really awkward to do. Sometimes if you open that in in kind of in your in the EVA situation. It just, it becomes virtually impossible to close it again, so I just use it back all the time. Side panel, especially when you start playing plenty of cargo space in here. 
you obviously got yourself a, a turret if there's going to be a couple of you or if you've got a couple of pledges eventually they're going to have your own NPCs in there anyway um, well that's a fun um, I feel from using the Connie to using the Freelancer that the Freelancer has better front lasers the Connie's got more turrets and a hell of a lot of missiles um, oh, tons of cargo space even more cargo space that's the side door you've got your beds nice little cockpit where you've got multiple seats um, you're going to have your pilot seat it's probably going to be um, if it's not weapons it's usually something to do with um, uh, shield management and all this sort of stuff so it's pretty cool a bit so I'll show you one more then I'm going to try the Edema again and then if not well then we'll get on to actually doing some proper missions Now the constellation I really liked is the kind of biggest sort of ship you can get to play in the game at the moment I believe. Um, obviously there's a hell of a lot bigger ships than this. Um, but as you can tell it is rather large. Uh, two points of access, they've got a very very large cargo bay that goes down. If you get the Aquila version of this, is what, which I'm thinking of buying later on, because I've got my battleships and I've got my kind of... Um, merchant sort of ones, this fella has got a, a quite nice exploration one but he, instead of having a large cargo bay it's actually got like a rover so you'd land on a planet, jump in the rover and explore sort of thing which is, it, it's, I think it's pretty awesome I like this kind of mini airlock it has um, cases on mini airlock and then let's you through. We'll go to the back first. All the way to the back. Now this thing, normal ones, which is Andromeda, comes with this, which is an actual Merlin. So you a little Merlin fight at the back. It, Merlin fighters and things as small as that, I don't believe have things like the quantum drive, whatever it's called. So you couldn't jump you'd have to come back to this to be able to jump further in here you've got obviously a mass amount of um, cargo space um, I believe you can remote do this now for how I believe Star Citizen is going to react it's not one of these things where you just move icons over to an inventory there's going to be a physical inventory so you will be moving large crates and boxes probably by some sort of anti-grav pushing device or whatever but it, the idea is a lot better than just going I'm going to drag things from here to there, there you go, the ship's full so you actually have physical space there you go. this thing, because it's one of the bigger ones, has a lot of docking rings so you can actually um, connect to a lot of ships by the side also, as you can tell here, this is the uh, missile array. I have to say this for the Constellation, it's got a huge amount of missiles. A huge amount of storage of missiles. you got right and left there. Um, that is a lot. There's the crew quarters. Again, these are sleeping quarters as well as escape pods. Um, you, in a previous sort of one of this, you will be able to actually bring the table up. But you don't seem to be able to do just sit down. You've got all this sort of stuff here. Now to the bridge. You have a lower turret. And then you'll also have a upper turret. Now obviously you can fit quite a lot of people in here, but it's classed as a five-man ship. So 
So technically you've got one, two, I think one of the best exploration ships is going to be the, is it, the Kavik, Kavik or something like that it's called, it's going to be awesome, but, okay. Now with this one, you've got three points, I believe one's like engineering and one's weapons, and this is your main, I feel that the missile capability on this is really, really good, but when you're actually in this Palatine, you've got control of four lasers. And then when they start firing, you just feel pathetic compared to like the Freelance, which feels to have cannons onto it. Um, let's see if we can actually see the four lasers. Because laser on the side of the constellation, um, on the side of the uh, freelance is obvious. It's basically on each side is like dual deck, huge things. Um, there must be these things here. Maybe. Hmm. Right. Well, let's get rid of this and have one last try of the redeemer. It's a shame if I'm able to show you because I do love the way the Redeemer looks. Uh, one, two, four, three, Redeemer. Alright, take five. Nick. Hmm. You seem to have made it, made it fucked. Um, where was when anybody who used to play this earlier? You had a kind of, you got to the website and you activate all your things and boom, it's there. Now, a lot of it's done by doing it yourself. Surface floor, you even got like wall bits as well. You click on one of these, and it does sizes, so you can fit a fish tank or whatever you want to do. Like I said, in a different video I might um, start organising that, but at the moment, let's just... I think one of my plans I need to do is I want to try and get some armour. Um, I am sitting on about 6,000, which is not much. The big armour is a lot more expensive than that. I think this should be empty because I'm not there. Cool. Right, so let's go. Now, the past couple of times I've done this way, it's probably crashed. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. On that picture you can see the kind of, um, that's like, that was it, Gla Gladius or something like that, that's landed, as well as a load of cargo forklifts, then you got a uh, Avenger, and I can't remember what these two bigger ships are called, but with the red I think that's the, the pirate place I think. I've been to the pirate place once, because I logged in it said I had a criminal record, I was like, okay. Those of you not showing what sort of thing you want to do pirate otherwise I have to tell you the t-shirts I like the look so I like the armor for the kind of uh, port the, the kind of main port but the um, t-shirts and stuff you can buy are kind of plain when you go to the pirate place it's got skulls on it and the stuff like you know we don't give a shit and and they kind of they, they get the take on Jack Daniels by having what's like got to wash sort of but Jack Daniels motif so hmm. let's see if it actually works 
Now I've loaded in here. This looks like it's red. So I have a feeling that if I go into this, I've got criminal record. Yes, reduce crime stat. So let's track that one and track that. I always do that, hit escape, it doesn't do shit. So our criminal record, so I'm now currently in the pirate's place. While I'm here, I'll take you to the shop. I still got a weapon from the previous one. I'll take. I can remember. I'll take it to that shop as well. Right. You've got. Is it this one here? Yeah. There's the one I loved. T-shirts look awesome. Ah, should they've changed again? Got a flash. Hmm. Bullshit. <laughs> but these look awesome. Alright. Now the first time I was here I could not find for the life of me how to actually get off this planet off the planet off the player base. Until I was stupid he got quite a lot of armor. Hmm. A 92. You got quite a lot of them. I'm saying a pretty much basic armor. So he's, he's. If it's the heavy armor, I can't remember if he's got the heaviest armor or not. It's about 40,000, I think. Um, right. These are the ones that are going to let me fly. Um, the constellation's nice, but it, it, you need the crew, I think. Um, I don't think a glorified focus will be the best thing to do. So let's get the free answer and hope someone doesn't take it. Stereo two. Oh, platform zero two. Where's zero two? This way, I think. That's in the condition. It doesn't get stolen. Well, that happen This happens a lot. Been trying to talk to me. Is that really what you're going to do? Since, as you can tell, we've now gone into a combat zone. Um, is he going to steal my ship? That's the question. Are you stealing ships or you're not? Hmm. He's just going for one over that way. Uh, let's get into this thing. This is already tilting, so I don't know if he's actually trying to fuck up my ship. We'll find out, won't we? Alright. 
question is, was he after me or not? somewhere near that we can get to. That'll do. Right, quantum leaped. Let's have a look if we can I remember rightly this place is kind of abandoned but kind of designed for you know you could get your ass kicked at some point checked it was double tap to uh, afterburn tap then hold it was on double tap did we change that tap then hold so it's maybe not now that's that guy that was there No good. We need to get a little crash. This is when I crash into something because I get a crash. Under the given people, um, that's, that security thing just to actually get them to experience that sort of area. Because you're being stranded here. So 
Let's have a look. Going to hack the terminal, dude. Over there, still. All good, all good, still. See if it's still there when I get to it. staring at you. I mean he's got heavy armour on to it but it's the armour you get from Paul whatever it's called so technically it's kind of good armour? Does that actually ever makes a difference? No, I mean, request to land approved. Systems on. Launch sequence complete. Launch sequence complete. Caution. Starboard collision. Landing gear up. Let's have a look what we can find out. Let's. Oh, yes, this assistance. On that device signal. Let's go and have a look at that one. Report to probe. Junior can't 
little bit creepy. A bit creepy. Let's have a look guys, let's see what we can find. Not bad on the fuel at the moment. There's Flipper. Going towards that red dot. There's pirates. Now there's always I think you've changed it because last time I played it, which wasn't that long ago, you had um, you double tapped um, shift to to boost. But it doesn't seem to want to do that anymore. So that's all we can find out, eh? Might actually be alright, because I have a feeling that these guys are going to end up mopping all else up before we even get to it. a little quick check or something. I've not gone mental. Uh, flight. Is it a shift? Afterburn. You've got long hold double tap which is not anymore. It says here it's either just hold or it is tap then hold. So it's not. Just hold. No, apparently that just means Windows say you're tapping shift too often. Not the best idea. Tap then hold. That's just a random fire. There you go. Pretty 
preemptive shot. some sort of cruise control on. May have mixed all the action anyway. I know he's in the Hornet. So because I stupidly put my gun in, I accidentally put it under cruise control. Not the smartest of things. Are you streaming right now, Dave? Yeah, just toss it some. Saying you think missile when there isn't. Yeah, that'd be annoying. Um, we'll jump out of here and then stream chat. Uh, oh, what are you guys going to play? Rocket League, Rocket League, guys. Well, there should be two stream channels if you need to pop down to the next one. I see it. Yeah. I thought it did. It was? It did happen. Killing ourselves. We ain't got any books with you right now, but stick around and this gonna change. Shut up.
probably wasn't the best sort of travelling there, but never mind. Get the beacon, get repaired, and move on to the next bit. I literally like blow it or something. There you are. There you are. Hello. Hello. Am I in the right one? Probably not, because I think they're in their, their channel too. Oh! Hey man! <laughs> Hi dude! Uh, we move over into, into um, the workshop room too. No worries, mate. No worries. Catch you in a bit. Catch you later on. Hey, Jenny, can you get head on back and whip us up a cup of something hot? I'm about to pass out. Got a contact. Multiples. Let's see what you say. Not coming up. No. Perfect. I need you on shield now. Now, Eva, that was a glitch, or someone just blew up my ass. Wasn't 100% sure on that one. I was parked pretty rough. Could have easily been glitched. But, with no criminal record, I've spawned in in the uh, port. Is, I can't remember what it's called now. Can't remember what it's called. So if I want to go and jump into this, it's going to charge me. Now, let's go and get out of this a second. No, I've just got 9k, so it's basically going to charge me what I just earned. Also means... I may have to start it again? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's money. Question is, what should I fly? Apparently the, the cost um, reduces obviously as far as it goes. I've got the exit in the corner there. Big ass constellations, small cargo for shits and giggles. Right, for shits and giggles, we're doing the small cargo one. Pretty sure I don't think it even has weapons. But for shits and giggles, let's have a look what's going on. If I have to, I will uh, I will exit and have to shoot with my gun. Probably a bad idea because the quest chain, the main one, you kind of go down, you end up um, having to attack stuff and all this sort of shit so I think what I might do is do some of the repair ones for the one I think the repair ones still have pirates and stuff but you know could be funny question is, is does this even have quantum It's a quick little bugger. Landing gear up. It definitely feels like a quick little bugger. Now, this does not. This is a feels quite cool and cheeky, but this does not have the ability to uh, jump. I didn't think it would. Fun little thing, in my opinion. Landing 
landing gear down. Landing approved. Let's land this sucker. Landing complete. Not bad, quite a nippy little thing, eh? Let's get something with a little bit more substance. Would be easier if it had like a airlock this way. Okay, and maybe going a little crazy. Maybe going a little crazy. How late it is, I might call it then there when I've now got lost. But anyway, this is pretty cool little cutie ship. What we'll do is next time I'm on, we'll actually do the quest line properly. Um, I think I might uh, call it there, seeing as the sun's gone to sleep, but my missus is not going to sleep, and it's getting a bit late. Um, but yeah, so that's the new one. A little bit. I it's a bit buggy still, so I don't think it was killed. I think uh, it blew up just because I decided to park half shoved into debris. You know, epic parking. No, not. Um. But yes. But at least now I have a little bit more money, which means I could potentially. Next time I'm on, maybe work towards getting a proper suit of armour. So next time, suit of armour, the quest chain. But as for now, catch you guys later. Thank you very much for watching.